So we finished the this sum is over, this sum is over. Okay, and you did the first one for homework. Okay, now the second second. Second one, we just have to do a little bit of a rearranging and then start solving. So the first equation, if you see here, it is 4x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. It's the first equation. So we'll just rearrange it. So 4x plus 3y. And take this minus 4 on the other side. That becomes equal to 4. And now this second equation also you have to rearrange. So write the term with the x and y on one side of the equal to term or equal to sign. And the uh, so six x plus five y equals to minus eight. No, this eight is this side itself. No, you're not shifting eight. You're not shifting eight. Eight is on right hand side only. So will the sign change? No. So it will become six x plus five five y is equal to eight. Is it correct now? Understood? Yes. Now can you solve it by Kramer's rule? Yes. Okay, do it and tell me what is D. Then DX and then DY. Okay, you one by one find out and tell me the answer. First tell me D.
x equals to minus two, y equals to four. D equals to two, d x equals to minus four, d y equals to eight. X equals to minus two, and y equals to four. Can you show me the calculation ones? Yes, correct. Can you do the third one also? It's the same. I can do it for one. Yeah. Is it in the same way? Yes. Here you don't have can to I do any. You don't have to do any changes because everything is the same. Okay. But now you should take less time to solve it. I I'll do it now. Yes. Yes. How much is dx? I'm getting a very odd number. How much did you get? I got it as 27. If it's wrong, then I'll do it again now only so that I don't have to show continue me, show the mistake. Me. Show me the calculation.
Okay. Uh, look at your, uh, can you check your numbers again? See, it is 2x. Look at the second equation. It is 2x minus 3y. The second equation, 2x minus 3. So, you have written just 3. Everywhere it will become minus. Yes, it will become minus 3. So, first do the changes in D. It's a small change, so. First one becomes minus seven. Yes, correct. One is twenty one. Correct. Yes. Third one is Minus twenty one, right? The x is minus twenty one, correct? Plus twenty four, right? Dx, dx. Twelve into two. No, no. The final answer of dx. It is three minus twenty four, correct? Three minus twenty four is minus twenty one. So X is three. Yes. And Y? Y is correct. Minus two. You got two upon minus one. Right? That's minus two. Two upon minus one. So it's minus two. How? Anything divided by any number divided by one is? Yes, but how minus? Because one is minus. Yes. yes. Okay. You're saying about this, right? You had two upon two upon one. minus one. Minus one. You had it like this. Okay. Uh, suppose you ignore this minus. Suppose. Okay. So two mm -hmm. upon one will be two itself, and you just put that minus sign. Now, fourth sum and fifth sum, will you able to do for homework? The exact same, nothing is different. What? Which sum is for homework? Fourth and fifth. Fourth one and fifth okay. one. Sixth sum, I'll give you a hint. Will you do it for homework, sixth one?
sixth one, the first equation, there is no problem. First equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 2. So this has no problem. But you look at the second equation. You have x minus y upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 2. Now, such type of equation we had in our first exercise also where we had a fraction. Do you remember what we did in that? We multiplied the entire equation with something. With what? With the denominator, if the denominators are same. Yes. So, here the denominator has two. two. So, multiply entire or multiply the equation. by 2. So this would become, so each term you multiply by 2. So 2x minus 2 into y by 2 is equal to 2 into 1 by 2. So what will happen here? Can you tell me? 2 and that, 2 will get cancelled. Yes, here and here also will get cancelled. So your equation is 2x minus y is equal, equal to one. 1. This you can call it as equation number 2. Okay, so you're now your two equations. The two equations are, first, so the first equation as it is, 2x plus 3y is equal to 2. And your second equation, 2x minus y is equal to 1. Okay. Now, can you use a grammar rule? Grammar rule, grammar rule. Okay. This is a Kramer's rule. So now will you able to do it by Kramer's rule? Do it for homework. Yes. So we had skipped the second exercise. So now we'll come back to the second exercise concept required. But that is graph. Do you yes. have do you have graph book nearby? A scale? No, I'll have to go and get it. Okay. So, you need a graph book, a scale, and a pencil, a ruler, and a pencil. Yeah, I'll just get all of it. Yes, you. I have a graph book. Yes, will do. First, we'll see how to draw graph of an equation. Okay. So, if an equation is given, how will you draw the graph of that equation? So, let's say, for example, draw graph of the equation. Uh, do I have to write this? First, first pay attention and first understand, I'll give it, I'll tell you when to write. Okay, so draw the graph of 2x minus y equal to 4. Now, when an equation is given to you and you have been asked to draw the graph of that equation. So we'll first make a table.
This is a table, right? In the graph. Yes, this is the table. This is not the graph still. But first, you have to make the table. Okay. I now just eight. had a question. Yeah. If I if I use one graph paper, about the graph will be written behind the paper or beside the paper. Side, side, on the right hand side. If your graph paper is the left hand side, you write it on the right hand side. Yes. So now in this, the first you write x in the first box, then y, and then in the last box, x comma y. Okay. Now, when you're writing the entries in the this box here, in this box, so first you write zero. Oh. Okay. First you write x as zero. So that means in this equation, you have to substitute x as 0 and you have to see what is the value of y you get when you substitute x as 0. So this equation is 2x minus y is equal to 4. We substitute x as 0. So it becomes 2 into 0 minus y is equal to 4. How much is 2 into 0? Zero? 0. 0. So this is 0 minus y equal to 4. So what is the value of y? We have your minus y is equal to 4. Okay, so y will be equal to? Minus 4? Yes, correct. Minus 4. So when x is 0, what is the value of y? Minus 4. So this minus 4, minus you, write, you write it here. And the meaning of this is when x is 0, value of y is minus 4. Is this clear? Yes. Then in the last column, since it is x comma y, you just write it as 0 comma minus 4. Clear? Yes. Okay. Now, in the first, we took x as 0. Now, for the second column... In the second, we'll take y as 0. Yes, you take y as 0 and you see what is the value of x you get. So, in this equation, in this equation, you substitute y as 0. So it is 2x minus y equal to 4. So substitute y as 0. So 2x minus 0 equal to 4. So this becomes 2x equal to 4. That might anything subtracted from 0. So that will go away. So, so what will x be equal x to? x equals to 2. 2. Correct. So when y is 0, x is 2. So I'll write 2 here. So right here, 2. So this will become 2 comma 0. Did you understand the table up to here? Yes. Oh, so draw the table and write up to here.
these yeah. calculations which you've done on the right side have to do those two. Yes, yes, you have to do. Now, uh, two. If you see, these are points that we got. Okay, these are called as points. This zero comma minus four is one point. Two comma zero is one another point. Now, to draw a graph, two points is sufficient. But in order to confirm, we usually draw find out at least four points. Okay, so the first two points. Is found out by first putting x as zero and then y as zero. Other points you can find out by substituting by taking a number of your choice. Okay, but only you have to make sure that that number is a little bit easier in calculation. So, if I take x as three, one. You see, if you substitute one, what will happen? I'll tell you. If you substitute x as one. So x is equal to one. So this becomes two x minus y is equal to four. So in place of x, you are putting one is equal to four. So two into one is two. Two minus y is equal to four. Now this is plus two. Plus two, you take on the other side. You will get four minus two. Two, okay. 
if we are getting a proper answer so yes okay so what will be y what will be y minus 2 minus 2 If you put x as one, the value of y is minus two, and here we are getting one comma minus two. Okay, next which value should I take for one. x? One we have already taken. Okay, y is one. You say yes. You, you can you can take some value for x, different value for x, and find for y. That also you can. Not necessary that since here you have taken as x. Your uh, x is one. Your y is one only has to be taken. It is not necessary. Only this this is compulsory. First, when you take x as zero, find out the value of y. Then you take y as zero, find out the value. Of y. This is compulsory when you take as zero. But after that, when you take another two values, you can take anything of it. What two x or y? Y. So minus two. No, sorry, two only. Value of x or value of y? So y, x is done now. No, it's okay. We can take x also as two. You can do that. You can take x also as two. It does not matter now. Only initially this has to be same. X first, x zero, then y zero. After that, you can take only for x and find out the value of y. So what if we take y also as one, one only? Ah, uh, nothing. You can take. Yes, yeah, so then let's take one. Okay. Let's see. Only the thing we need to little bit be be careful of is avoid getting fractions, okay, because plotting fractions is little bit difficult. So we just avoid that. Okay. So you are saying to take y as one. Okay. So let's take y as one and see what value of x we get. So two x minus one equal to Four. Now take this minus one on the other side, so you get two x is equal to four plus one. That is five. So what is the value of x? No, no, you are getting a fraction. You are getting a fraction. So plotting fraction is a little bit difficult. So we'll not take one. We'll not take so y. We'll take two. We'll take x as two or y as two. Y as two. Y as two. Let's try taking x as two. You can again take x and then yes, two. Yes, 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 yes. You can take again take as okay, x then, and two. Yeah, then only starting at the start when you take x as zero, only this has to be interchanged. After that, you can just take value of x and find out the value of y. Clear now? What I'm trying to say? Yes or no? Yes. So let's take x as two. So x is equal to two. To substitute a value, so this becomes two into x. That is two minus y equal to four. So two into two is four. Four minus y is equal to four. So. What can be done now? Tell me. Minus y equals to four minus four. Minus y is equal to four minus four. And how much is four minus four? Zero. 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 So y equal to, to zero. Zero. So when x is two, y is zero, and here we have two comma zero. Is this clear up to you? You erase the earlier calculation. Write it again. Um, shall I write what is in the boxes? Calculation also okay. That also has to be.
ख्याल रखें this now we'll come to draw the graph is it going to be important like plus sign on a yes. graph yes yes plus sign draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay. Just to make sure that up to which highest number you should go, you see the value of x in this row, in the row of x, the smallest is 0 and highest is 2. So just try writing maximum up to 4 or 5. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Um, upwards, which, what is the sign when you go upwards? Sorry? What is the sign? Positive, um, positive, positive. Up here, right? You're asking here. Positive, yes. positive, positive. So one. Four, five. You can put negative one, negative two, negative three.
Okay, actually I can't see. It is too much green. Uh, tell me how much uh, till how much maximum you have written. Okay, one one centimeters. Okay, fine. I said, no, no, no. So, I'm, so I'm, like sleeping, I've written one to nine and minus one to minus nine. One and two. then going upwards, I've written one to 13 and downwards minus one to minus 11. 11, okay. So much is no need to write so much. So it's okay now, since you've written, it's okay. But there's no need to write so much. I have taken one box, one centimeter. Yes. Yes. You can take one that centimeter. Is... You can take no, because then your and mine will be different. No, no. Will not be different. Will not be. See what, what will happen is now huh? since I have taken two centimeters, my graph will be bigger. So you have taken one centimeter, so your graph will come smaller a little bit. Everything will be correct, but only it will be small. So suppose now since you have such a big graph paper and you want to utilize the entire graph paper so you take two two centimeters then but only thing you'll have to make sure that all these points should be covered in that like on x-axis the smallest is zero yeah. highest is I'll, can i do that now since you've already done it's okay no need to change but i'm just saying you can do it it's just the next one i'll do that but it depends on the number. So that number should fit on your listing. Suppose if it is minus 16 here, on y-axis, the greatest is minus 16. So minus 16 should fit on both the side. Or 16 should fit. So that much boxes you should have that 16 should fit. If not, you take one one centimeters only. This is one, two, three, four, five. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, three, one more. Can you tell me what signs are in which quadrant? In the first quadrant, in the first quadrant, right? This is x-axis. This is y-axis. So this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Okay. Now, in the first quadrant, what is the sign of the x-axis? Plus. Plus, and sign of the y-axis. So plus and plus and plus. Similarly, in the second quadrant, sine of the x-axis is? Minus plus. Minus plus. So, what about the third quadrant? Minus, minus. And the fourth one now, you know. So it should be? Plus, minus. Plus, minus. Now comes the main thing, and that is plotting. Now for plotting, you look at your table. How first point is, the first point is 0, comma, minus 4. So plus, minus. This, this, where this point will come, can you tell me where will it come? Zero comma on minus. the x-axis. Yes, correct. On the x-axis. So that is yeah. in minus four. Hello? This one no This one. Can you see? This is zero comma minus four. First point. How will you write that? Just a circle and a circle? Yes. Or you can write it like this, 0, comma, minus 4. You can write it besides it. Yes.
Yes. Second one will come on two. X is zero and Y is minus. Second one will come on two. No, no, in this, in the first point, first point, X is zero, Y is minus four. So where will it come? It will come on the Y axis. Y axis, so that is here. This is zero comma minus four. Done? Yes. Now next is x is two, y is zero. So two comma zero. Where will it come? Oh. On two. On two. That is here. This point. Two comma zero. Fine. Next it is one comma minus two. Where will one and minus? So see, first is plus minus. So plus minus means which quadrant? Fourth one. Fourth one. So where will one comma minus two come? So this is one, and this is minus two. So one is. Will it be this point? Yes. Yes. This name it as. One comma minus two. Okay. If you are having difficulty in locating, you can use your ruler. You just put your ruler like this here. Located for minus two. So yes, this is yeah, correct. Yes. So you can locate it like this also. Okay. Suppose if it is if you're finding it difficult, you can put your ruler like this and locate. It. Okay. And la last point is. Two comma zero. So where will two comma zero come? Two comma zero will be already taken. The same. Ah, okay. Okay, it's okay. Or in the above. Can can come above, right? It'll come on the same place. Ah, it will come in the same. No, it's okay. Two two comma zero is the same thing. It's okay. So we have got. So we three. don't have to put one more circle around it. No, no, no. Okay. We had to get four points, but three points is also. Now you see, we have got three points. Now you take your ruler. Take your ruler, and try put it the on the line those. across all the three. Yes, yes. Just see, approximately it has to pass through all the three. Draw big line or only uh, big one? Big. No, no, big, bigger, bigger, bigger. We have arrows, and do we have to name it? Do we have to name? Yes, we have, we to, have name. to name the line. Yes, yes, we have to name the line. We have to name what? So X what? Y? No, you have to name the line, the equation. So what is the equation? 
What is the equation? Two x minus, minus y. y equals to four. So you write it here on the line. Two x minus y equals on both the sides. No, no. Anywhere, anywhere. You can write it like this also. Two x minus y is equal to four. You can write it like this also. Or you can write it here also. Two x minus y equal to four. Anywhere. In brackets. No. Okay. And also, don't forget to write the scale. Scale. I have taken two centimeters, so I will write two centimeter equal to one unit. You have taken one centimeter, so you write one centimeter is equal to one unit. Okay, one centimeter equal to one unit. Yes, correct. On both axes, on both axes, one centimeter on? equal to on both axes, both, both, B O T H, B O T H, both. So what? What? Axis, axis, A X I S. On both the axes, you have taken one centimeter, right? Yeah, correct, correct, correct. So this is the way you draw the equation for a given line. So now, given any equation, will you be able to draw the line? Yeah, correct. Yes, perfect. perfect. Okay. Now from from practice set 1.2. Will you be able to do the first activity on your own? One. So oh, you're muted. Sorry. What about the sixth question? Why is there a star on it? It's on the same page, on the same page, eighth question. Okay, this eighth one, this page. one, this one. No, yes, I, yes, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll have to solve and see why there is a star on it. Uh, the star ones are usually considered a little bit difficult. Okay. So, yeah, what so, is the homework? This first activity, will you be able to do it? Uh, I have to draw a graph also. No, no, no. No, no, only fill the boxes. No, the but you have just written that complete the following table to draw the graph of the equation. To draw the graph. No, but you have to only fill come fill this table. You don't have to draw them. Okay, and calculations I'll have to uh, yes, yes. show. This you can do in yes, you have to show. Yes. This you can do in the notebook. No, no need to do this yes, in the graph. Yeah, I'll have to do it in the notebook. And from the second one, the uh, this activity is, I think you should be able to do it. Will you be able to do this one? Both? Yeah, that, that is the same, that comes in the same. Uh, yeah. Oh. And same question. Draw the graph for the first one. No, no, no. This is graphical. No, no. no. Only these two do. These two. It's not the same. The second equation is not the same. One second. No? do this in the graph and draw the graph. You have to draw the graph. Okay. You have to draw that. So complete the following table to draw the graph of the equation. So you complete the table and draw the graph. So do it in the graph book only. I have to draw yeah. uh, one graph, uh, two graphs, right? Yes, two graphs. Two different And send pages. you the photo of both the graphs also. Yes, yes. and the calculation. Okay. And, yeah, and the, okay. and the box. Yes. So I'll stop here. Will continue to move. And what did you ask me right now? We'll stop here, I said. We'll stop. Here. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Next is on tomorrow. Today's Thursday, tomorrow. right? Yes. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Thank you.